YouTube. Today in the Naughty Librarian, I'm bringing you a romance book haul. I've been collecting so many cute romances lately that I've been keeping them all in a little stack. And I was like, when I got enough of them, I'm gonna do a book haul. And I've been really excited to do this because I've saved them up. <laughs> so I got a bunch of cool romances, all different types of genres. I got some paranormal, I got some contemporary, I have some paranormal, I got some historical, I got like everything here. So like I am so pumped right now. Let's get into it. Let's just talk about these smutty delights I found. The first book I have is actually sent to me as an e-copy from the author Erin Kinsella, and that is Heart and Soul. And Erin reached out and she's like, hey, do you want to copy my book? And I was like, what's your book about? And like, this is what she said. It's kind of a uh, K-pop meets K-dramas and a marriage of convenience. And I was like, yes, give me it. <laughs> Basically, there's this author who um, she's flying to Korea because like her book is getting made into a K-drama. She's super pumped. She gets there and she's like, holy potatoes the guy who's cast as the lead in the adaptation of my book is this guy from this k-pop group who i'm obsessed with oh my gosh they get into like a precarious situation that ends up with photographs and then the music company gets all angry and they're like hey you two gotta get married now and they're like what marriage convenience story and i kind of love marriage convenience stories because they fall in love for real <laughs> and it's k-pop it's k-dramas marriage convenience it also has a little LGBTQ plus rep in here, and I was like so excited. It sounds delightful, so thank you very much for sending that to me, Erin. Another book that sounds gosh darn delightful is The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. Oh my goodness gracious, I have been dying to read this. Dying to read it. I can't wait. I am so excited. It is um, basically, there's this baseball team and they have the bromance book club where they all read these romance novels in order to figure out what the women in their life want and how they could give it to them. And we're following Gavin in particular. He's a baseball player and his wife wants a divorce because turns out, hey, she has faked every orgasm she's ever had with him. And he's like, what? <laughs> so um, he feels bad about that. And he joins this book club and they're reading like this uh, bodice ripper historical book and I'm sure he's gonna learn a few tricks and hopefully save his marriage because that's kind of the point of the book. So I I love the whole premise of this. I know there's like another uh, book coming out later but uh, I, yeah I want to read this so much. I'm It's like made of things I like so I'm so excited for this one. I also picked up not one but two books by Gina Showalter that I have read but did not own yet. I'm gonna start things off with The Pleasure Slave. This was like one of her first books. Like it is old, like look how old this cover is. And then this is an original print. Hold on, let me check, let me check. This is the first edition. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first edition from 2005. It is old, um, it's like 15 years old, holy crap. Basically there's antique dealer. she finds this like old crummy jewelry box she opens it up and lo and behold it's a magical jewelry box that has a love slave in it so it's very similar to like Cheryl and Kenyon and the start of the Dark Hunter series because the first book in that series has like a book and when you open it a love slave comes out so it's very similar story and it's old Gina Showalter when she was like smuttily delightful so this is like a kind of fun little paranormal romp it's definitely not great but it's like fun for what it is also I finally got a copy of Can't Hardly Breathe by Gina Showalter this is part of the original Heartbreaker series. This is a contemporary series of hers. Like mainly she writes paranormal, but she does also write contemporaries on occasion. This one in particular, I actually really liked. It's like a small town in Oklahoma. I think it's like Strawberry Valley or something. I don't know, they got a lot of strawberries. It's very like wholesome, but they're so smutty. This series is so smutty, like dirty smutty, and I like it. <laughs> small town it's like second chance romances like you know wounded hair characters who like find meaning through love and it's like very like cliched like contemporary romance dramas but adorable and funny and smutty so I do really like this series I like this one in particular as well it was one of my favorites so I found it a library book sale got it for 10 cents killing it here Another contemporary I picked up was Forever With You by Jennifer Armentrout. This is a new adult series. It's usually, it's like romantic drama, contemporary stories, and uh, they're smutty, and they're very dramatic. And I just got it, just Jennifer Armentrout. Like, I think I will read this eventually, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just grabbed it because Jennifer Armentrout. I just want to get her books whenever I can. 
Also, I bought this one full price, which is Destined for an Early Grave by Janine Frost. And this is book four of this Night Hunter series. I have read books one through three. It's just smutty vampires. And it's not trying to be anything but smutty vampires. I like that it's like not trying to be deep or it's not trying to like have like any other meaning besides a smutty vampire solving vampire crimes. Like I love it. <laughs> so I went and got book four because I read one through three and I didn't own four yet. So I went and bought that one. Speaking of paranormal stuff, I got three books by Carolyn Sparks, and I believe these are also vampire-y, and I found them at a library book sale. So three new books, Carolyn Sparks, vampire-y, smutty delights. Starting things off, I have Be Still My Vampire Heart by Carolyn Sparks. I love the titles of these. And um, there is a vampire in it named Angus, and he's been a vampire for a really long time, and the name Angus is Scottish. So is it gonna be a be kilted vampire is it gonna be a vampire in kilt highlander vampire romance is it gonna be that i am a buzz with curiosity right now <laughs> but anyways it's this guy named angus who's a vampire and then he meets this uh, lady named emma and she's a vampire hunter how are these crazy kids gonna work it out i don't know so um yeah i i'm just like i have a high hope that it's gonna be a kilted vampire and i'm like, into it <laughs> Also, I got Wanted, Undead or Alive. They're so puns. There's so many puns in these titles. I love them. But yes, Carolyn Sparks killing it with these titles. And uh, the basic premise here is he's a vampire from the big city and she's a werewolf princess. <laughs> so it's vampires and werewolves. Historically, well not historically, I mean, as far as literature goes, the two races have not always gotten along. So maybe they have some differences they gotta work out. But yeah, big city vampire and a werewolf princess. How are these crazy kids gonna work it out? Probably smuttily, and I'm excited about it. <laughs> the last book I got by Carolyn Sparks is The Undead Next Door. And um, it's kind of about this like nice lady named Heather. She helps this guy who's named John Luke, which is such a vampire name if I ever heard one. And uh, he's just very mysterious and dark and sexy. And then she starts dating him. And then I think eventually she has to figure out he's a vampire. Like, I don't know how long she's gonna be under the pretense that he's not a vampire, but like it feels like it might be for a while. <laughs> so I'm like, how is he gonna pull that off? I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, just smutty vampire books. They're kind of just so simple in their just mission statement. Hey, there's gonna be vampires in this and they're gonna fuck. I'm in, like, <laughs> I don't need to know more. <laughs> I also picked up a whole passel of historical romances and they kind of run the gamut of different genres of historical, but I got a whole bunch of them. I picked up An English Bride in Scotland by Lindsay Sands and it might have a smutty tab. Okay, it's a little smutty. There's a revealed back, so it's suggestive. They are in a field. <laughs> I picked this up because I read The Highlander Takes a Bride and I was so happy with how it turned out. It's just like kilty goodness, kilt getting lifted and smutty, smutty things happening, and I loved it. And this is book one of the series. I believe that book was like book four of the series. They're fairly episodic, so it doesn't really matter. But I was like, okay, let's go back to the beginning and see where this whole like series started. So I went and bought this one, and I am excited to read it. I might have like a new like smutty Highlander series I can like love. So. I'm excited. I went and got, and got book one because I liked book four so much. So, hey, fingers crossed, optimistic about this one. It's definitely going to have kilts and people are going to lift them. So it's got that going in guaranteed. <laughs> I also got to Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks. And um, I think you should seduce a Scott because I feel like that's the point of the novel. So this is about Eveline. And I'm not sure if this has magical elements or not because in the blurb she is referred to as fey touched. So I'm not sure if this is like how she looks or is actually she has some fey blood in her. I'm not sure. But um, she's also deaf, apparently. And then you have this guy, Graham, who's like intrigued by her. And um, they're going to do it. I mean, on the cover, her dress is already coming up. Like that's guaranteed. So um, yeah, it's kilts and smuttiness. And I, it's a deaf heroine. So that is interesting because you don't get a lot of those. So hey, uniqueness. I also picked up How to Romance a Rake by Manda Collins. And the main reason I picked this up was I saw it at a library book sale. I flipped it over and it had a blurb on it from Tessa Dare. And you all know Tessa Dare is like my queen. I trust her judgment. 
and she picked up this one. It's kind of like, it's not like, it's a unique story I haven't heard before. It's kind of like a nice girl who isn't accustomed to the ton and then a rakish like lord who's like, oh, I like you because you're different. And um, I think she's like trying to find her friend and she worries that something bad happened to her and he's like, oh, well, help. Like, I know bad people. What? No, you misheard me. <laughs> so um, I think that's like the thing. It's like a rake and then like a nice girl. I've seen it all the time, but that doesn't necessarily like make me not want to read it. It's a, it's a setup that works for a reason, essentially. There's so many books like that because it works. And Tessa Dare blurbed it. So optimistic on this one. I also picked up The Hunter by Monica McCarty, and this is a Highland Guard novel. I think I have another book in this series already I got from a library book sale. So I was like, ooh, okay, I'll grab this book because I know I have another one. And Highland, it's got kilts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so this has Robert the Bruce in it, like the other one did. I remember, I'm remembering the other one more and more now. But this has Robert the Bruce, which is a real kit figure. There's a Netflix story about it with Chris Pine in it, and I hear he drops dong. Just kidding. Well, not really. I think that happens, but and I heard about it, and I haven't seen it yet, but just know. Anyway, Robert the Bruce, he was like um, a warlord king of Scotland kind of guy and these are kind of men fighting with him. So um, warriors wearing kilts and stuff, I'm um, into it. I'm sorry I went off on that tangent about like dong dropping, but this isn't the first video I filmed today, so wine is already in my system. <laughs> The last book I picked up recently is Devil in Spring by Lisa Kleppis, and this is the Ravenel series book three, and I think I have a couple other books from the Ravenel series, and I think this one has been recommended to me quite a bit by one of my friends. At least I think it was this one. I know it's one of the books from the series. I saw it at a library book sale and I grabbed it, because I'm like, is that the one they were recommending? Probably. So Lisa Kleppis is one of those authors I keep meaning to read and I never do and I know I should because they're probably really good So I'm kind of happy. I found this one at a library book sale It does have a heroine who is um, a board game inventor, which is something I haven't seen before I haven't seen any board game inventor heroines and then you have you know a cynical rake and um, He is very fascinated by Pandora is the lead heroine's name who has wants nothing to do with him She's like hey, I got board games to make like you can go away with your like rake behavior <laughs> so um I kind of like her for that and then he's a rake and he's gonna be like what have you seen me I'm handsome I don't understand and she's just like mm. so I I've read a lot of stories like that and they're always funny and well not, not, not always funny I will preface that but they're supposed to be funny so I got this one I think it has been recommended to me and I do need to read Lisa Kleppis. I've been meaning to do it for a long time, so I have books now. I need to do it. I'm so excited for all the smutty delights I found. And they're all different genres. I got a lot of smutty vampires. I got a lot of historicals. I got like kilts and I got some contemporaries. Like I'm killing it. Like this is like a great haul of romances I've been collecting for a little bit. Let me know in a comment down below. Uh, what were your favorite books that I hauled in this haul? Also, um, are you more of a smutty vampire story or a smutty Highlander story? Which one is like your ticket? Like which one do you like the best? Let me know in a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.